Luke 22, 19 through 30. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But see, the one who betrays me is with me, and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined, but woe to the one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another which one of them it could be who would do this. A dispute also arose among them as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But he said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lorded over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you, just as my Father has conferred on me, a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. This week we talked about the sacraments, and specifically we asked, what's the point? A lot of times in religious life, there are things that we hold sacramentally. The idea that there's an outward and a visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. Cool things that we repeatedly do as a means to communicate deep things that are almost beyond words. Sacraments in our context are communion and baptism. But we also hold that so many things can be sacramental. There's a way in which physical elements and the story that go with them connect us to something beyond ourselves and create rhythms that help us to remember who we are and who God is. When we participate in the communion table, the scripture that we read today is often a part of the liturgy. It's often part of the words that we share while we're praying over the elements and while we're connecting with this sacramental practice. And I think that scripture has something really meaningful to say to us in that we often remember the words that Jesus says, this is my body, this is my blood, these are sacrifices for you. Whenever you do this, remember me. But sometimes we forget that the second half of that story is immediately all of the disciples starting to ask themselves, who is the greatest? They are still at the table. Jesus has just said, I am the one who will give myself up for you. And then the disciples are like, okay, I want to be awesome. No, I want to be awesome. Actually, I wonder if I'll be the greatest. <laughs> and Jesus returns to the image of the table to demonstrate values to them. He returns to the image of the table and saying, look around the table. I'm serving. I'm living as one who serves amongst you. That's what it means to lead. And I think that communicates something really powerful about the sacraments because sacraments are physical practices with stories that we share that connect us to something beyond ourselves. They are rhythms that can anchor our life in a really anchorless world. But another essential part of those sacraments is that they communicate values that sometimes we can forget. Jesus uses the image of the table welcoming even the people who will betray him. And he uses that image as a way to help the disciples remember when the world is going to get crazy and the story is about to implode and lots of you are going to be on the run. And when things get really hard, here is the physical table, the real bread, the real wine that they had shared together. And every time you do this, I want you to remember not just this moment, but the story that Jesus has been telling and the kingdom that they serve in. The sacraments anchor us in an anchorless world in a story that is beyond ourselves. And they remind us as a regular rhythm in our lives of the values of the kingdom of God. At God's table, everyone is welcome. In God's world, everybody is welcome. And in God's ways, Whoever is the greatest is the least. 
is willing to serve, is willing to wash feet, is willing to do the hard stuff. You see, the sacraments are a gift, not only for right now, but they are a story that help us remember the story God is telling. Come all proud, come all greedy, come all lies, come all shame. All wealthy come receive to the table come today come all broken come all needy come all poor come all slaves come all rulers come be seated come all sinners come all saints come to the table Dumb of free.